free game breakdown tonight, Tuesday, August 22nd. We're looking at the Dodgers versus the Guardians. Guys, we are 34 and 10. I'm sorry, 24 and 10 in our last 34 games. Uh, it's a big day. We got two free games dropping today after I'm done with this one. Billy the Beard is going to be hopping back in the booth after getting back from his cruise. And he's going to be dropping a beauty as well. So we're going to be locking in these two games. Let's lock and load. Uh, before I even get into it here, make sure you subscribe to the page. Turn those notifications on. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment. Become part of that comment crew. Make sure you check out our Instagram, the underscore profits underscore pick. No S on pick. And uh, sports profits underscore we spread the love all over the different platforms given the free games on sometimes we put free games on instagram that are not on here sometimes we put free games on here that are not on instagram and uh, we try to throw up as much on tiktok as we can so like i said we're going to be digging right into this game very excited college football officially starts this coming saturday uh, if you guys followed me last college football season you know what we did we killed it on free college football games on here, on the Bleacher Brothers Sports Network. I'm going to be doing an OSB podcast tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a Bleacher Brothers podcast next week. So make sure you tune into all this stuff that we're doing, guys, because we, uh, we try to be as many places as we can at once. So let's dig right into this. Um, the Dodgers travel to Cleveland for the first of a three-game series from Progressive Field. This is at 7, 10 p.m. Eastern time. The Dodgers come into this game. They beat the Marlins 3-1. to one. Mookie Betts hit a two-run shot. Um, Kike Hernandez batted in a run. Julio Urias recorded his 11th win of the season. Now, um, the Dodgers, probably the hottest team in baseball right now. They've won nine of their last 10 games. More so, they've won 14 of their last 15 they have scored 687 home runs, scoring 5.6 runs per game, 8.5 hits per game, collecting batting average of 251, on base percentage of 337. They're ranked third in the majors in batting average, on base percentage, slugging percentage, OPS, second in majors in home runs. Um, just outstanding offensively, absolutely outstanding. Pitching, they're solid. I mean, they've given up. They give up 4.4 runs per game, eight hits a game, three, 239 batting average against. They are fourth collectively in ERA and whip, 4.18 ERA, 1.21 whip, striking out 8.58 batters every nine innings. Uh, really good stuff. The Guardians, on the other hand, they've lost six of their last 10, two in a row. They lost last night to the Tigers. They're not looking good. They were looking so good going into the All-Star break. And I really pegged them as a solid team coming out of it. They were not. I also pegged the Rangers as a solid team coming out of it. Um, they've had a couple stumbles as well, but not like the Guardians here. They really have been slumping. They're 59-66 and 66 on the year, second in the AL Central. They've recorded... 1,055 hits, 8.4 hits a game, averaging four runs per game, 249. Batting average, 3 311. Uh, on base percentage, 377 slugging. They're 30th in the league in strikeouts. They get struck out a lot. They've only hit 89 home runs, 30th in the league there also. Pitching is solid, four runs per game. They're first in that category, 11th in hits per game at 8.2 third in collected ERA, and third in opponent's batting average. Collective ERA is 376. Whip is 127. They don't get a lot of strikeouts, but they have very, very good pitching. They only have allowed 128 home runs. That's second in the league right there. But just offensively, they're having their struggles right now. The Dodgers are a team that they start, you know, with the hot bat. They're currently fourth in the majors in runs in the first five innings with 3.07. When playing away, from their home crowd, they actually average 3.12. Cleveland is 29th in the majors in runs in the first five innings. So you have very polar opposite situations here, especially in the first five innings. And uh, Cindergaard has not been good this year. He's only pitched past five innings once in his last six outings. This is an easy one for me. Take the Dodgers first five innings minus a half run. You should have it at minus 140 on BetMGM, the place to be, the place to bet if you are uh, in one of their legal states. 
lock it and clock it guys and if you want more than that like i said sign up to uh, our page subscribe turn your notifications on hit that like button leave us a comment become part of the comment crew the down payment was made on the t-shirts they should be here in like a week week and a half i love you guys you'll see billy next and you'll see me tomorrow